Hey. Hello. Uh, hello. Um, I just want to say good morning to you. And um, I see that you have your, your house here um, on the market or you had it on the market and it just expired. Um, oh, actually, no. I'm actually, no. I, I, wait a minute. I don't have a house that expired. Oh, are you, are you, uh, were you selling um, uh, for sale by owner? Yes. Yeah, for that's actually I got a house that I'm selling. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Thank you for helping me uh, get it get it right. Um, how's that going for you? Uh, it's going. I mean, I've had some showings. I got a couple of people that are interested. So, I think we're getting there. Mm -hmm. Have you gotten any offers? Uh, I have a couple of people you know, that are, they're saying they're going to write offers, but at this point, I can't say that I, I have anything on the table. What, you got somebody for me? Um, yeah, possibly. Um, perhaps we can uh, sit down and, and talk about it, and um, I can show you how you can um, get a qualified offer um, in less than 30 days. I mean, I'll tell you are what, you at, at this point, are you interested? You know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I got the house out here. I'm showing it. I mean, if you don't have a buyer, I'm really not interested at this point. Well, I may be able to find you many buyers. So, um, so bring them. Where are they at? Okay. Well, can we sit down and, and talk about um, how to strategize and so that I can I can show you what I have? I've talked to a few realtors. I've been on YouTube. You know, I feel like I have a good game plan. Mm -hmm. um, what offers have they given you? I haven't gotten any offers yet. I got a, a couple people that are saying they're going to write offers. So I'm, I'm just waiting for those to come through. Um, how long do you think that may take? And um, um, how much time do you have to, to sell your house? I mean, honestly, I want this process to be as fast as possible. Um, so it's oh. kind of it's kind of hard to say uh, because okay. I, just, I don't have anything on the table. So what if I could help you um, expedite the process um, and show you how? What can uh, would you, you be do? interested? What could you do? To well, um, well, well, one thing I would need to do is I would need to come and I would need to take a look at what we're what we're looking at and see how I could strengthen uh, your plan. See, I could I strategize with you and um, and get you offers quicker with people who are qualified. Are you interested in allowing me to come and um, and maybe talk with you today after three? I mean, like I said, I really don't want to put a lot of time into this. What, what can you do that I'm not already doing? Um, well, I'm sure that with uh, my team's help and me, um, we, we, we can put together a plan for you that will work and help you to find the offers that you're looking for quickly. Uh, my team has sold um, almost a billion uh, last year. And, um, and so uh, you were known for our quick um, turnaround and our ability to give our customers what they're looking for right away. So um, 10 minutes, 15 minutes of your time, is that worth it today? Uh, I suppose 10 minutes wouldn't be too much for to see what you're working with. Well, awesome. Okay, can I get your telephone number, please? Or your, I'm sorry, your email address, please. Sure, it's rob at pascare.com. Okay, and is there another alternative number that you can give me? Uh, no, nah, this is the one that works for me. Okay, um, are you the only decision maker? Is somebody else on the property that needs to be there as well? Uh, actually, yeah, my wife. Oh, okay, can she be there today at, at um, three? I, I, don't, I don't know if she could be here at three. How about you just come anyway? Sure, I'd be willing to come and, um, and you know, perhaps we can, you know, just discuss a plan and we, we can, um, you know, possibly include your wife um, so that she can hear the information. Perhaps she's available uh, via telephone or Zoom while we're having the meeting. Well, she works at that time, so I don't know if she'll be available, but we can meet. 
Okay. Okay. Um, so awesome. Um, I'll be there at 3 p.m. today between 3 p.m. and 3.15. And, um, and I will see you then. It's been wonderful talking to you. And I know we are going to come up with something um, just for you that, that will work. All right. Sounds good. Well, I'm, I'm looking okay. forward to it. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll see you later. All right now. Bye. Bye-bye. In scene. <laughs> I know I messed up a lot. But, um, well, it, yeah. that's not about messing up. You know, <laughs> you you gotta you have to learn. I mean, once you go through, and that's that's the whole point of role play is to to have it in a, a closed scenario like like now, so that when you're in the field, you know, it's more comfortable or you feel like you've already been through that. But um, I mean, you got the appointment. <laughs> you got the appointment. Thank you. Okay. So when I start calling, okay. oh, I mean, starting off, when I start calls, this is just me, and everybody's a little bit different. So always stay true to your personality. Um, when I come in, I, I come in straight up, like, hey, whatever the name is, hey, whatever the name is. So it would be like, hey, Natalie, um, because if this is just from my experience, when you come in with with extra words or you come in with extra salutations, people they they start to think like, who the hell is this? You know, and their exactly. and their defenses go yeah. up, you know, instantly. So for me, it's hey, hey, Natalie, hey, what's going on, Natalie? And so, of course, you gotta know who you're. You gotta know who you're calling, right? So you you call it the you call it the Fizbo talking about expires, but you know, <laughs> I mean, but uh, you're driving though, right? Yes. So you're driving. So I mean, that's understandable because if you were making calls, I'm sure you would be, you know. You would be in front of a computer. You would have some notes right next to you, so you know you would know who you're calling. Um, yes, yes. When it comes to for sale by owners, for me, these are people we call them delusional. It's, it's twelve different D's. You got twelve different types of listings, and they all start with D. And for sale by owners tend to be delusional because you know most most people who sell their home for sale by owner are not successful first and foremost, and the ones who do sell their home successfully tend to sell their homes for less value than what they would have if they would have sold it with a realtor. Um, so we call them the delusional, but at the same time, these are people that are headstrong. Um, they set out to do something. So you never want to take that away from them. But if anything, you want to support them, but also be clearing your intention like, hey, I want to sell your house. Um, so something that works for me is when I'm talking to Fizbo's, I, I, motivation, hey, what's making you want to sell your house? I mean, it seems like a beautiful neighborhood. Why would you want to sell it? Uh, tap into that motivation. Um, yes. Tap into pain points. So you, you kind of did. How's it going? How many offers do you have? Uh, do you have any offers? No, I don't have any offers. Well, shoot. What's, why don't you have any offers? It's been on the market that long. You don't have offers yet? Dang. Oh, so how many times have you shown the property? You've shown it 20 times and no offers yet? Sheesh, man, that's got to be frustrating. Um, kind of dig into that pain and, and just be intentional. You know, I, I specialize in helping for sale by owner, people who want to sell their homes on their own. I, I specialize in helping them sell properties. In fact, I have a smart seller system where if you find your own buyer, you won't even pay my commission. Um, hmm. And speaking of the, the smart seller program, hey, uh, the state, mandates that you have a residential property disclosure available for people who are interested in buying this property. Did you fill out your residential property disclosure? Oh, you haven't? Well, to me, it sounds like you need some help. How about we set a time for I can stop by, give you this for sale by owner packet that I have um, and you know, see how I can help you. So, you know, when it comes to the FISBOs, it comes down to finding out what the pain point is, find out motivation, find out what those pain points are, and then adding solutions and um, and support and resources to help them sell their home. But at the same time, you're intentional about, hey, you know, you, you're doing this, but I, I can make it way easier for you. I can make this way smoother. And in fact, I can get you more exposure and you can just sit back and just make decisions. That's how I work it. But, you know, I love your, I love your persistence. great feedback. Thank you. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you have some great Thank persistence. You. I'll say that. For sure. Wow. Hey, hey, hey. I'm I'm excited, man. Drop some fires in the room right now. Hopefully, you guys were able to take some notes on that. I thought that was amazing. Guys, 
as I stated earlier, a real estate broker that found the power in EXP came over and just dominating the market right now. So excited for that. I recorded the call, Natalie, because I, I see your involvement. I saw you on the Cardone call earlier today. I see you here. For, for the last two weeks, guys, Natalie and I have been communicating every day, pretty much at 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning. And we have no connection to each other, no connection whatsoever. But one of the best things about EXP is that we're one EXP. So I'm um, excited about that, Natalie. I want to send you the recording. I thought Rob's feedback was amazing. Just wanted to add some notes to that. Then I'll open it up for you guys to add some notes as Thank well. You. So... So um, you, you, you set expectations. One of the things you said, and I, and I took notes, I took notes because I want you to be successful, Natalie, once again. So you set expectations. So what I would do is I would change that um, and say, wouldn't that be exciting? So want to excite the seller so that you're getting a response that now has their mind triggered to say, hmm, you're actually correct, you know? Then I love that you yes. said a 30-day program that will sell your home in 30 days. I thought that was amazing. And then you said, are you interested to meet with me? I, I, at that time, I would ask for the appointment. So you spoke about your marketing plan. So I would say, so which time works best for you? And I would try to close for the appointment at that time. So I would say 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock or whichever time you wanted to have it available. Okay. And then you said, I want to meet with you to put a plan together. I probably rephrased that to say, I have a plan for you. You want to show this okay. for sale by owner exactly what Rob said is that they need us. So say, Mr. And Mrs. Seller, it, it, it's shocking that you don't have an offer. You've been on the market for about 20 days. I have the master plan for you to get you on and off the market quickly. I see. Okay. <clears throat> Anyone else want to provide some feedback? We got a minute left. Anyone else? Or anyone else just learn something, learn something through Natalie or Rob and they want to share. I think they're still sleep, Jeff. Hey, that's why they money sleep. Hey, Jeff, I have a question. <laughs> Talk to us. The floor is yours. Okay. So you know how if you're on the phone with a buyer or a seller and they're asking, like, you know, a new agent like myself, um, hey, how many properties have you sold? So um, I noticed, I think it was Natalie that mentioned um, our team's, I'm sorry, not our team, like uh, EXP's sales so um where do we get that number and how would you word it when you're actually speaking to um a buyer or seller so one of the great things guys is that if you guys are not following elena cardone you want to go ahead and go to instagram and follow her because very periodically she shares our numbers and and i think that's where natalie grabbed that she says our team sold close to a billion dollars in sales so i think when we were hitting about november december we were over eight hundred thousand eight hundred million 800 million in closed sales so you definitely want to follow her to grab the numbers if you're a part of my team right here you can always grab the numbers from myself and i'll go ahead and i'll share them with you um but just just stay involved and then you always want to know what exp is doing as well what your company's doing where your company's growing so if you're not following exp commercial or exp realty on instagram you definitely want to do that and then once again rob spoke earlier about being a part of the university and taking those training classes 80 hours of opportunities to truly learn what you want to learn truly learn what you want to learn so if you're one year in or two years in guys a real estate broker has agents, is in the university learning the stuff and now implementing them. Come on now, folks. Come on now, folks. Hey, is that that 21 plus year realtor on the screen? Talk to us. <laughs> I'm just excited. I hear the come on, folks. Go to work. Go to work. Guys, I'm so excited to be a part of something so great. You know, it takes time. It takes consistency. But we're here to help cut literally collapse decades you heard jeff say 20 something years so at least two decades into a few months you know ro isn't on here but she's a first time realtor she's realtor of the year not month year with at least six million in sales so it can be done it can be done move yourself out the way and go to work like i'm so excited my wife let me, let me show y'all something my whiteboard travels with me how you do this my whiteboard travels with me look this is my bedroom y'all 
my look this, this is my whiteboard and, and my sheets and look all about exp what the goals are guys just go to work so that's it jeff that's all i got to say love it love it love it 802 we're gonna go ahead and release you guys so that you guys can go to work excited once again we have our support call at 3 p.m eastern standard time and then tonight at 7 p.m we invite you guys i dropped the link in the chat we'll catch you guys later on today just go to work make it a great day see you guys here tomorrow